Uh, our next speaker, Boris Schubert, uh, is here to share a little bit about that. So Boris had a previous life in solar, and uh, he, he is now continuing the solar crusade uh, in Shell. He's been recruited by Shell uh, into the new energies department. So he's continuing that mission uh, within Shell, and he is here today to share with us for the very first time what uh, the team is all about and uh, what Shell is trying to do. Welcome. So I'm the Shell guy. Somebody else got yeah? <laughs> Still getting used to that. Um, I'm also, after about 10 years in solar in smaller companies here in Silicon Valley in development, um, working now for a multinational, big international company. I'm also getting used to those kind of slides again. So why do you read the fine print? Let <laughs> me tell you a little bit about Shell. Um, more than 100 years old, almost 100,000 uh, uh, employees worldwide, more than 43,000 gas stations all around the world. Um, we invest about $30 billion a year and we are active in about 70 countries. So with Shell being one of the most uh, successful oil and gas companies, clearly the question is, with this energy transition we're talking about, with, these, with, these, um, with all the topics we heard earlier, what really is the, the question? The way we look at it is, um, in 2060, the world will need 60% more energy, and we will need to be able to provide more energy or better energy to more people. In order to do that, um, we believe in an increased electrification with renewables in the heart uh, combined with uh, cheaper and cleaner fossil fuels. The way we do this at Shell is we think in three uh, time horizons. We have the cash engines, we have the growth priorities, and we have our future opportunities where we allocate and new energies. A lot of things are different in your energies, but one thing is the same. Wherever you are in Shell, um, Health and safety is our primary um, focus. That is our primary philosophy. We focus on the goal zero, which means no harm, no leakage in, in any business that we do. Now, new energies. Think of three themes. New fuels, renewable energy or renewable power, and um, connected customer. We have that supported by uh, strong R&D activities and we will go now quickly through some of those themes. On the new fuel side, we think in biofuels, hydrogen, electric mobility, and gas for transport. If we look a little bit deeper into the hydrogen, we are active here in California. We actually have two hydrogen stations in Southern California, and we have a partnership with Toyota to build seven more retail stations here in California. Um, on the power side, the, the second major theme that we have. We have been for a long time very active in wind. We have onshore wind in California, offshore wind in, in Europe. Um, just last year, um, we got, we got um, about 700 megawatts um, awarded in, in the North Sea. But we are looking into ways how we become, um, shifting from becoming an energy consumer to an energy prosumer. And we have quite a global footprint and experience in in large-scale power infrastructure ourselves. Here's where my heart is, it's solar. Uh, we focus on power plants where we see potential for scale, where we have line of sight to profitability, and where we can use our existing footprint and capabilities. The energy access or decentralized energy access with the focus of Sub-Saharan Af Africa and Asia is focusing on working with, um, on pilot projects, uh, deploying equity investments uh, to, to drive the, uh, the, the energy access. An additional way how we drive customer access is we think in themes of connected energy, digital ventures, and connected mobilities. I pick out the one about the connected energy um, because that ties with, as I said earlier, with solar. It's all about enabling customer choice that can be solar, but that can be also demand response um, or or ways and means how you can optimize behind the meter to get cleaner, more affordable energy. The way we are supported with the new energies is through our own Shell Technology Venture Group that is focusing on uh, traditional activities in oil and gas, but also renewable and, and new ideas like uh, Kite Power Systems. 
And uh, last but not least, we are supported as new energies from our own global uh, R&D approach that we have together with, for example, um, um, Berkeley. Uh, we, have, um, we have wind activities that all lead together in those three themes that I mentioned. They are loosely connected, they're highly dynamic, and uh, we will continuously evolve with this approach in new energies in order to eventually become part of one shell and to drive shell in into the future.